So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to the link, which will be down below in the description, to download Microsoft Visual C++. And then once you're on this, you're gonna scroll down. We're gonna be having two downloads right here, x86 and x64. To know which one you need, you're gonna head over to search and type in system information. Click on it. And now if we look next to system type, it's gonna be telling us. I'm on x64, so I'm gonna be getting that download. If you want says x86 or x32, you wanna get the other download. So for me, since I'm on x64, I'm going to begin this download, x64. It's now going to start downloading. And we're now going to click on the download. And now this will come up. You're going to click on I agree. And then click on install. And then click on yes. Wait for this to load. If you get this, you're going to click on yes. Wait for this to load. It's now going to be saying set up successful. We can now close out of this. And now for the second step, you're going to head over to the next link, which will be down below in the description, to download DirectX and use a runtime web installer. And then once you're on this, you're going to scroll down, select your language, and then click on download. Now once this comes up, you're going to click on it, and then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you're going to click on I accept, and then click on next. We can now untick this, and then click on next. Wait for this to load, and then click on next again. Wait for this to load, and it's now going to start downloading components. Wait for this to load. It's now going to start installing components. Wait for this to load. And it's now going to be saying installation complete. You now want to click on finish. For the third step, you now want to head over to your Steam library. You now want to find Red Dead Redemption 2. Imagine that this is Red Dead Redemption 2. You now want to right click on it and then click on properties and then click on installed files and then click on verify integrity of game files. And then once the files have been validated, we can now close out of this and you can now start RDR2 and then the problem should be fixed. It should now be working. If the problem is still not fixed, then for the second method, you just want to uninstall it and reinstall it. So, you want to right click on RDR2, and then click on manage, and then click on uninstall. You now want to uninstall it. Then you just want to reinstall it again, and it should now fix your problem.